Hello and welcome to today's lesson. The topic for today is data. What is data and what are the types of data? My name is Eunice Frimpon and I'll be taking you through this topic. So this is a learning objective for today. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, define data in the context of statistics, recognize that data goes beyond numbers, distinguish between qualitative and quantitative data, and differentiate between discrete and continuous data. So what is data? In statistics, data refers to collected observations or measurements about people, objects, or some phenomena. So if you look at this chart here, this is some information about some people. This also shows information about some people. This could represent the height of these individuals or their ages. So if, if this is representing the ages of these individuals, then this individual is the oldest, and then this individual in red is the youngest. So data are the raw material of statistical analysis. Any kind of analysis you may be doing, data represents the raw material. And it is important to note that not all data are numerical. So here are some examples of data that goes beyond numbers. In the first chart here, we can see these are students. And this data here we have here is the ages of students in a class. Now, this is also audio recordings from an SRC meeting. You can see that this particular data set is not a number. It is data, all right, but it is not numbers. It is recordings, audio recordings of some meetings that have gone home, but it's also data. We also have data where we have surveys that have been filled by some people. And then another kind of data can be pictures. We can have a number of pictures and that also serves some it serves as data. So pictures of some shops in the market can also be some form of data. So you can see that in all of these four types of data, this is the only one that is numerical, the ages of students in a class. So data goes beyond numbers. Now, as an IT student developing an app for your classmates, you might collect data such as numerical data. That is the number of downloads or text data, comments from users, and then system data when and how the app is used. So note that data come in multiple forms and they serve different purposes. Now, what are the types of data? There are two main categories when we look at types of data. The first is the qualitative data. And this kind of data is non-numerical, which means we don't use numbers to identify the data. The second type is the quantitative data. And this kind of data is numerical, meaning we use numbers to identify this kind of data. So let's look at qualitative data. We define them as non-numerical data and descriptive information. So instead of using numbers to represent the data, we use a description, a kind of information that describes the data. Examples include favorite color of classmates, and types of food sold in the canteen, comments from a suggestion box. So looking at these three examples, you can see that we're not using numbers to describe or represent the data, but we are using a description for the data. The next type of data is the quantitative data. Now this type of data is numerical information that can be measured or counted. And there are two subtypes under quantitative data. The first subtype is discrete. Now, discrete quantitative data is countable. So for example, number of students in a class, this kind of data can be counted. The second subtype is continuous data. This kind of data is measurable. So you cannot count, but you can measure. For example, time taken to walk to campus or the height of an individual or height of individuals or the weight of students in a particular class. These data can be measured, but they cannot be counted. So let's do a comparison of statistics versus data. Take note that statistics is not equal to data. Data are the inputs, the material or the raw material that you have. And statistics are the tools and methods 
that are used to analyze and interpret those inputs. So if you consider the ages of students in the class, the ages of students in the class is data. Now, if you want to find the average age of students in the class, the average age is a statistical tool because you are using it to analyze and interpret your data, which is your ages. By finding the average age of students in the class, you have been able to interpret the data using some form of statistical tool. So let's perform a practice exercise here. The task is identify whether each is qualitative or quantitative. And if it is quantitative, is it discrete or continuous? So let's do this together. The first question is, number of laptops sold in one year. Is it discrete? First of all, is it qualitative or quantitative? It is quantitative because it can be counted. Now, if it is quantitative, is it discrete or continuous? This is discrete because we can count. Second example, colors of baseball caps. This is qualitative because we don't use numbers to represent, we just describe it. Time to cut a lawn. We use a number to describe this, so it is quantitative. Now, is this discrete or continuous? This is continuous because it can be measured, it cannot be counted. The next one, the next one, capacity in cubic feet of track beds. Now, this is because we can use numbers to represent this, it is quantitative. But is it discrete or continuous? This is continuous because we cannot count, but we can measure. Next example, classification of children as infants, toddler, or preschool. Now, because we are not using numbers but a description, this is qualitative. Weights of fish in Lake Bosom Tree. Weights, we can use numbers, so it is quantitative. If quantitative, is it discrete or continuous? We cannot count, but we can measure, so it is continuous. Marital status of faculty members. Marital status, we don't use numbers to represent. We use a description. So we, we will take this to be qualitative. So with this, we've described or we have classified each of these variables as either quantitative or qualitative. And if quantitative, either discrete or continuous. So this is the solution to what we just did. Here's a summary of what we have looked at today. Data are collected facts used for some form of analysis. Data can be numerical, which is quantitative, or descriptive, which is qualitative. Quantitative data may be described as either discrete, countable, or continuous, measurable. Understanding the type of data helps determine suitable analysis methods for any kind of work you may be doing. Thank you for being in today's class, and I'll see you in the next class.